Come on, Murta. I've asked you a simple question. On the, um, on the first night of the full moon, we shouldn't cast spells of uh, transformation because light rays from the moon can create negative interference, which could cause unwanted and permanent changes? Very good. But you sounded a little hesitant. A good witch needs to be confident. Miss Magics, where's your tiara? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's hideous. <laughs> Well done, Judith. You get an A. Bloom, it's your turn. Settle down, girls. Excellent performance, Bloom. Return to your seat. Next, please. <laughs> and since I'm such a wonderful guy, I went with him. And... Bloom, what's wrong? Is it something I said? It's not you, Brandon. I was just thinking about my parents. Oh. It's just that I feel so insecure. There are so many questions left unanswered. The only thing I feel sure of right now is you and the Winx. Well then, let's see if we can answer some of your questions. It's just that I want to know everything. Where I come from, why I possess all this power. These are really tough questions. You see, the thing is, I think the answers may be found at Cloud Tower. If only I could have access to their archives. Well, shouldn't be too hard. If you want, I can give you a hand. It's risky. Hey, what are friends for? Well, you can use your Wind Rider, but we're talking very high altitude here. No problem. Just ride close to the wall and zigzag all the way up. And don't worry, Sky. I'll be careful. I know you'll be careful, but that's not the point. Accidents happen, and in this case, Brandon, an accident would result in a 300-foot freefall. Listen, I told Bloom I would help her, and I'll do it. She needs me. Whatever, just don't say I didn't warn you. Well, do you want to go over the stuff again? Well, well. <laughs> I know someone who will be pleased to know this. <laughs> Darcy! Riven, what do you want? I've got something for you. Good. Very good. Huh? Sorry if I scared you. I had to sneak in. Good thing. Imagine if Griselda had gotten her claws on you. We have to hurry. Hop on. Uh, now? Well, a round trip to Cloud Tower will take a while. We'd better get a move on. Anyway, why put off till tomorrow what you can do today, right? Do you think three short minutes would jeopardize the mission? I don't think so. Why? Because I'm still in my jammies. <laughs> <laughs> No way! After what happened at the Miss Magics contest, I refuse to show my face in public! <sighs> you go, Murda. I just want to be left alone, alright? You're being too hard on yourself. After all, it wasn't your fault. Icy, Darcy, and Stormy played a cruel trick on you. You should avoid them. You've changed, Lucy. I hardly recognize you anymore. 
No, you don't understand, Murda. I want to be like them. I want to be part of the gang. I don't want to be considered a loser like you. Always picked on and put down, oh. or else you get ignored. I'm sick and tired of being a nobody like you, Murda. I want to be one of the tricks. Do me a favor. Stop telling me what to do, all right? Oh, Lucy! Why are you doing this to me? Give it to you straight, Murda. I think you're pathetic, and I don't want to be like you. <sighs> Oh, those stupid tricks! Since she's been hanging out with them, Lucy's like totally mean. I've had it with those harpies. Oh, I've waited long enough. I've got to turn things around. Lucy and I have been friends forever. I won't let those crazy girls lead her down the wrong path. Soria, back on Valant in Perry Jumala! Ah, oh, come on, Murda. Focus on the tricks. You can do it, girl. Soria, back on Valant in Perry Jumala! <laughs> Sisters, this is my new plan. We'll tell Bloom a lie that will strike her with terror. Then we'll go to comfort her and rip the power right out of her heart. <laughs> oh no! This is terrible! I've got to find that girl. The tricks have turned Lucy against me. I'll repay them in kind. I'll warn Bloom and expose them as the liars they are. Bobinat, Volam, Ezra, Avita! We're almost there, Bloom. Hang on tight. Watch out, Bloom. One little slip and it's game over. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What was that? They don't need anti-aircraft artillery here. At this height, all they need to do is destabilize us. Well, they don't know who they're dealing with. Hold on tight. Is everything all right? Were you scared? No, believe it or not, I wasn't. I tell you, Timmy's cool. He managed to integrate a map of Cloud Tower into our GPS system. Great, no danger of getting lost now. This is it, the archives are right behind that door. Bloom, think about it. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to know the truth, Brandon. Things have changed since I was here. I'm not sure where to look. Hey, come and check this out. It's one of the legendary lost books, which are said to contain an answer to every possible question. The lost books? I didn't think they really existed. Well, here it is. Ask your question. I want to know who I really am. <laughs> did you see? I... I'm the incarnation of the three primeval witches. As soon as I become a true fairy, they'll take possession of me. No, you... the... 
The evil ancestors? It can't be. Please, Brandon. Don't just stand there. You've got to help me. Mm. Oh. Brandon? Brandon, what can I say? I didn't want this. It's just... It's my fate. That's <sighs> the way things are. It's not my fault. Mm. Please, take me back to Althea. Found. We even talked to Brandon. He said he brought her back here last night. The thing is, she never entered the building. We've got to go and look for her. already, and I haven't even made it to magics yet. I need to get there, otherwise I'll put the whole dimension in danger. According to my emo images, I shouldn't be too far. Oh, I felt something. Maybe it's her! Hey, who's hiding uh, there? Who are you? Hi, um, I'm Murda. Hi, my name is Bloom. I know. You do? I've been looking for you. There is something very important you need to know. The tricks have tricked you! Showing off, Stormy. If you keep on doing that, you'll set the whole forest on fire. Quack, 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 quack. Hey! <laughs> you out of your mind? Sorry, an ugly little creature was squirming at your feet. Ahem, <clears throat> sisters. Let me remind you that we're looking for Bloom. Yelling is not part of the plan. Sorry, I see. <laughs> We've got a situation here. We've got to do something ASAP. Right, so the only way to find Bloom now is through our powers. Right! right. to business. Okay, so which way are we going? Easy. Something has seen Bloom walk through here, and we're standing right on it. The grass? Smart thinking, Flora. Golden pollen. Everybody, Bloom went that way. Grassy fields have an excellent memory. I'll generate an ultrasonic wave to probe the area. Hmm. Huh? Scanning complete. And now I'll analyze the data. Uh, 
All right, got it. The probe detected a life form right here. The dot represents blue. Do it or what? Of course. <laughs> Rising sun. I'm shining light over the whole dark forest. See, I do have good ideas once in a while. Uh, I knew you'd need my help one of these days. I'm so beautiful and totally essential. <laughs> Understand, Bloom? It was just a cruel trick. Oh, uh, I, I'm so confused. Who am I then? Why do I possess these powers? <laughs> oh, you want to know why you have these powers, do you? Well, they'll soon be ours, so you won't have to worry about it much longer. Ah, I see you've got company. The little witch who transforms emotions into images. You two make a really cute couple. Couple of losers. <laughs> you played me for a fool. You're mean. Mean? Uh-uh. Try diabolical. <laughs> That's enough, you bully. Huh? Let's have a fair fight. Sis, don't waste your energy. <gasps> Trying to fool the Queen of Black Magic with a pathetic illusionary effect? Bad trick from a bad witch! <gasps> it's payback time, little Murda, and it's gonna hurt. <gasps> now all we have to do is destroy that beautiful little ice sculpture and rip the power right out of Bloom's heart. It's oh, oh! Who's that little girl? Leave them alone! Oh, oh. <laughs> you pesky little gnats! Oh, I hate you! You won't win this time! Chill out, sister. I'll settle this for you in a minute. Witches. D 
Don't worry, Tecna. They got their just desserts. Who was that little girl? That's Murda. She helped me. There's nothing we can do for her right now. Icy spell was black magic. Maybe we can find a way to break that spell. Sleep well, Bloom. After all that's happened to you today, you need some rest. And don't you worry, Murda. Until we break the spell and transform you back to normal, I'll take care of you. Word of a Winx. A transmission signal from the space pod. It looks as if something is trying to communicate. I don't believe it! This is a transmission from the Omega Dimension. Can anybody hear me? I found her! I found her! Tecna's alive! That's her voice! Guys, wake up! Tecna is alive! Sh she's alive? She's transmitting. I can't believe it. She's trying to get in touch with us, guys. The space sensor just received her signal, and oh, she knew we'd never stop searching for her. Now, if I don't lose the signal, I should be able to figure out where she's transmitting from. No. You lost her? Phew, I got it just in time. She's transmitting from Omega's inner quadrant. Oh, Tecna's not dead, and now we know exactly where she's located. Somehow she's been able to survive alone in that frozen, forgotten place. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's load up the ship and go rescue Tecna. She'll be happy to see you again. I'll give the Winx a call to let them know. It's just too bad that Bloom can't go. She's still training on Pyros. I bet you the girls are going to be tickled pink to hear about Tecna. Tell them to start packing, Brandon. We leave at sunup. Uh, hello? Tecna is alive! I love to stay awake at night, because that's when the most interesting discoveries are made. Come in. I hope you have a good reason for waking us up, Valtor. I have an excellent reason. Tecna somehow managed to send a message to Red Fountain from the Omega Dimension. What? That's impossible! I wouldn't worry, ladies. Their chances of actually rescuing her are next to none. Nobody ever gets out of the Omega Dimension. Just like nobody ever gets off the island of Pyros. What does Pyros have to do with anything? Hmm. Bloom's gone there to strengthen her powers. The Island of Dragons is a dangerous place. Something terrible could happen to her there. In other words, you want us to go check it out and make sure that it does, is that right? <laughs> Why aren't you coming with us? Coda Torta specifically asked Riven and me to stay at Red Fountain. Yeah, the whole school's on high alert because of Valtor. If too many of us go on the mission, Red Fountain could be vulnerable. So Riven and I are going to stay on active duty just in case the school is attacked. We're ready, Stella. Just waiting for you. I'm coming. Let's get a move on. Bye, Stella. See you. Hurry, you guys. We can't wait to see Tecna again. The girls are just about to leave. Well, thank you for keeping me posted, Griselda.
You know, even though the dangers are great, I don't feel it's right to try to stop them. I know. It's their destiny to go and save their friend. And I believe they will succeed. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't gonna be easy, huh, Brandon? Uh, excuse me, I said it's gonna be a tough mission, right, Brandon? Sorry, my head was elsewhere. I was thinking about Sky. How he wanted to apologize to Bloom for what had happened on Miraclion. But by the time we got back, she'd already left for Pyros. He hates himself for hurting her. Even though he wasn't himself when it happened because of that, that spell that he was under. I'm sure that everything will go right back to normal as soon as Bloom gets back from her training on Pyros. Well, I sure hope so. Hey, Captain! How long till we get to the Omega Dimension? We're just about there, Stella. How are you doing, Timmy? I'm okay, because now I have hope. This island is getting more and more unbearable. I've already overcome so many obstacles. How many more are there going to be? I'm tired. <laughs> An earthquake? Well, at least they don't lack for variety here. I saved you just in time, girl. Drink up. You'll feel better. Thank you. My name is Maya, and I live here, where few creatures dare to venture. Uh, my name is Bloom, and I come from Magics. Why are you here, Bloom? I'm trying to get stronger. That's why I came to Pyros. The headmistress from my school thought that I could learn from the dragons, but so far all I've been doing is fighting to survive. I don't know how to do this. If you want to get stronger, you must open your heart and your mind. Hmm. Valtor is the reason I need to get stronger. He steals magic from all the realms. His designs are evil, and I need to find a way to stop him before it's too late. Now you know all about me. Your motives are very noble. Since the realm I come from no longer exists, there's no way for me to get my enchantix powers. And yet I do need to gain strength and courage. You already are strong and brave, and your magic is very powerful. Your anger is great, but so is your positive energy. I can help you if you want. You know, I could really use some help right now. 
You must learn to focus on your inner self. You already have everything you need. <laughs> I do not like this place. Come on, let's try to find Techna as quickly as possible. Here you go. Here's the mobile receiver, Timmy. Hey, thanks, Helia. This thing should be able to tell us exactly where Techna is, unless, well... Don't you worry, Timmy. Everything will turn out just fine. You'll see. Bad. You managed to control all of your energy and focus it on a single point. I didn't think I'd be able to. You're getting in touch with your inner self. That's why your powers are becoming so much stronger. That was a difficult test, and you passed it beautifully. That's it. I found it. There's the signal. It's identical to the one I received at Red Fountain, so it's got to be coming from Techna. Are you sure, Timmy? I uploaded the original, and the locator just found it again. Let's head due north, Brandon. It's freezing here. Ooh. Pretty inhospitable, if you ask me. I bet you they agree. Huh? I guess that's what you get if you're a prisoner in the Omega Dimension, locked away in a block of ice for eternity. I got it! I can feel it! Techna's nearby! All right, I found it! Well, this is the transmitter that Techna used, but where is she? We are now moving to a higher level of training, which means that should you fail, you're not likely to survive. Are you ready for the challenge, Bloom? Ready. Now, Bloom, behind you. Very well done. Your skills have improved so much in such a short time. Your magic is more focused and you're able to control your fear. Your powers have reached a whole new level of sophistication, Bloom. Am I that much better? Oh, you may not feel it, but I can see it. You're almost ready to go back to magics, my dear. Oh, magics. I can't wait to see my friends again. I miss them so much. I really want to go home, but I know I still have so much more to learn here. This place is like a maze. Finding Techna here is going to be much harder than I thought. Well, in the meantime, it looks like somebody has found us. <gasps> <gasps> they put the transmitter here as a trap. Who are you? What are you doing in the Omega Dimension? <gasps> you look a little too cute to be here. <laughs> We're trying to find our friend, the girl who had this transmitter. Tell us what you did with her. <gasps> Easy, Timmy. These guys look like serious trouble. <sighs> huh? Hey, calm down there, buddy. Why can't we all be friends? Ugh! <sighs> 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 
Time to take these guys down. Let's just lighten your load a little. Twilight is the perfect time for you to experience life's most magic moments. <laughs> this vial contains the magical essence of Pyros itself. The magical essence of Pyros? Yes, every magical place has a unique kind of essence, and not just every place, Bloom, but every magical being, too. And that includes you. You see, Bloom, just like Pyros, you are defined by the particular blend of magic which lies deep at your core. Now, what you must do is allow your own essence and that of Pyros to come together and work as one. I need to merge my essence with that of Pyros? How do I do that? I can only help and guide you. It's up to you to become one with the power of the island. Hmm. We've been flying for over an hour now. Are you sure Bloom's here? We'll find her soon. Huh? Darcy, what's wrong? Bloom's close by. Are you ready, Bloom? I am. Hmm. Good, Bloom. You now carry within you the magic of the Dragons of Pyros. What is going on here? Bloom! Huh? Oh, what's that? Hmm? Sorry, no tourists allowed on Pyros. much of a green thumb, I see. Behind you, Bloom! <laughs> Bloom's gotten a lot tougher. The tougher she thinks she is, the more fun we'll have destroying her. going to destroy anybody. <laughs> oh, before we finish you off, Valtor sends his regards. Valtor. Oh. 
Altor will not win. I did it! I can't believe I got my Enchantix powers! Mm-hmm. <sighs> All the energy you possess was totally focused for one perfect moment, and that's what set your Enchantix free. It could only happen to someone who has the dragon fire within. When you first arrived here, you were looking for answers, trying to find strength. You've come a long way since. You've found yourself, Bloom. Nothing will ever be the same. And now I feel ready to return to Althea and see my friends again. What's wrong, Winx? You seem troubled. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Nebula! Roxy can't hold on much longer. The temperature is too cold for her. There is only one way to save your friend. We terrestrial fairies cannot enter Sibylla's cave, but you are not fairies of the Earth, so I need you to go in and bring Ogron and the wizards out. The power of the ice tower is too strong. I can't use my healing magic. It's not safe. Poor Roxy could lose her life. Looks to me like you're going to have to accept Morgana's offer. Whatever we decide, we're either condemning Roxy or the wizards to a horrible end. Now I know why they're called Gifts of Destiny. Yes, the more important they are, the more responsibility they require. Aww. You're not the legendary warrior you think you are. You're just a coward. You picked on the weakest one of us. I don't know what Boom's up to, but if it's to make her angry, she's doing a good job. The truth is, Morgana hasn't used you until now because she's been worried that you'd mess up. That's enough! I swore! See? That's what I mean. Can't you do any better? If you want me to go and get Ogron and his wizards, you'll have to fight me. If I win, you'll free us. Okay. Bloom, I hope you've given this a lot of thought. No, I'm using my instinct. Perfect. I feel much better. Ha. <gasps> Watch out! The cage will protect Roxy from the outside temperature, but if you try to break it open, it will mean the end of you all. <gasps> As for you, Bloom, you're just going to have to wait. <laughs> Now what? Can you hear that? It sounds like the ice tower is slowing down. I think it's stopping. <gasps> and Roxy seems to be doing better. She's not shivering anymore. It looks like Nebula is keeping her word. For some reason, Morgana seems to really care about Roxy. Huh? Roxy knows it too. 
During the fight, she noticed the fairies were trying not to hit her. She used that to defend us. So this whole freezing thing was a trick. Nebula would have stopped it anyway. We need to find out what the connection between Morgana and Roxy is. Look, Roxy's waking up. Uh, hey girls, how's it going? Maybe I don't want to know. You were freezing to death and Bloom managed to buy us time by challenging Nebula to a fight. What? Nebula? You really did that, Bloom? any money on set design. Now I know how a bird in a cage feels. Uh, uh, huh? Morgana! Why will you not join me, Roxy? I offered you so many chances to save yourself. But in order to do so, you must leave the Winx. I will never leave my friends. I will share their destiny. I made sure nobody harmed you. Yes, and I took advantage of that to save the Winx. You are so determined. In that way, we are quite alike. I'm begging you, abandon your thirst for revenge. I can't. You know how much harm the wizards and the humans caused us. This is not just a personal matter. Do you understand me? Even Diana abandoned her revenge against the humans. Doesn't that mean anything to you, Morgana? These girls are being awfully presumptuous. They actually think they're in a position to negotiate. We ask that the wizards be tried by a fair and impartial court. Justice will not be obtained through revenge. A fair and impartial court? Morgana, you can't seriously be considering what these winks are suggesting. You are the queen of fairies, you- Our queen deserves respect, Nebula. I don't think anyone is questioning my role. We've been talking far too long. Oh. We must have our revenge on the wizards, even if it means destroying Sybilla's cave. Huh? Ah? Uh? If I am defeated, the fairies will go free. But if I defeat Bloom, she will take us to the wizards. Fair enough. Let the combat begin. That's not an ice rink, is it? That's our battleground, Bloom. We have postponed this fight too long, but now it's time for you to pay for your arrogance. I'm ready. Ah. Good luck, Bloom. Do it for us. <laughs> After you. Nebula appears quite confident. <laughs> Stop! Don't worry, Roxy. I know what I'm doing. Electric storm! Ah! 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 Well, that wasn't much fun. Where's all the fire and strength I've heard so much about? You hit her unexpectedly! Bloom is right! You are a coward! Bloom lost. Now you have to keep your word. Ugh. And I'm sure you girls will be much more reasonable, or I'll fight you one by one. You mean you'll tickle them? <laughs> what? How dare you! This battle will be hard fought. Bloom appears to have plenty of resources. You're going to seriously regret doing that? You'd better save your breath, Nebula! Ugh. 
Discover Nebula's real power, and it will be the last thing you see. Frozen dart! <sighs> Where were we? You keep distracting me with silly childish tricks! They're exhausted. Your friend is braver than I thought. You can do it! Come on, don't give up! Bloom, I'm warning you. I will do whatever it takes to get revenge on those wizards. You're making a mistake. You can't solve anything with vengeance. What do you know about vengeance and hatred? You have nothing to teach me, you naive child. Have you ever been locked up for centuries in a prison, humiliated and defeated? I swear <laughs> My rage against the humans is even greater! They stopped believing in us and condemned us to oblivion! Yes! Well done, Bloom! I knew you could do it! Give up, Nebula! It's over! Oh, you are such a presumptuous fairy! What? Now you will suffer! Nebula is out of control! Stop her before she destroys my ice tower! <laughs> Watch out, Bloom! Ice wall! <laughs> Let's put an end to this fight! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Bloom. I'm waiting for you. Dragon fire! What do you say? We can do without some of this ice? There's so much of it, I'm sure they won't miss it. Stop it! How careless of me. Who knows how many thousands of people that will fall apart. There's a big city underneath us. Oh, and what a coincidence, it's called Gardenia. Oh. No! No! It's too far away! I've got to use my new powers and all the strength I have! Ice Flame! Ah! No! She destroyed the iceberg! No! Oh. No, 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 no! Hooray! defeated Nebula, you have to respect the deal! Uh, uh, oh, Bloom! <laughs> the fight drained all of her power. Uh, uh, Morgana! Bloom did all this for me. If something happens to her, I would never forgive myself. And neither could I. Your friend won the challenge, and so we must respect the arrangement. to trust Roxy. She's good and she learns quickly. You're right, Flora. <laughs> Come, young fairy, show me how good you are. Nebula, you've been defeated. You must accept it. What's going on? I command you to stop, Nebula. Bloom fought fairly. We must keep our word. Welcome back, Bloom. Are you okay? Wow, that one really took a lot out of me, girls. 
Maybe you should leave it to someone else next time. Morgana, now you have to keep your word and stop your revenge against humans. I'll do as you say, Roxy. Huh? But only because you asked me to. Are you crazy? You're destroying everything we've been fighting for! You'll answer for this! How dare you speak to the Queen like that! Not another word from you! The Wizards of the Black Circle will be judged by me and the Terrestrial Fairies in all fairness. As for the Black Circle, I must have it in my hands, but Ogron will have to give it to me as a sign of submission. All right, Morgana. Enter this magic portal and you'll be home. Have a safe journey back, Roxy. We'll see each other again soon. Thank you for everything. It must not end this way, Morgana! You made good use of the gifts we gave you. The gift of wisdom and the gift of heart. We will now give you another gift, albeit a dangerous one. Why? Because it's the black gift. saves a person from death. That is why no one likes to use it. I don't know what you mean. More than one human being could be beyond life's threshold, but you may only rescue one person. This is the prophecy, Winx. Wait! Morgana has chosen wisely. I'm glad to hear it. Yes, Morgana gave her word and will stop seeking revenge. And she will judge you in a fair way. As long as you hand her the black circle as a sign of surrender. All right, Bloom. We'll accept being judged by Morgana, and I will personally give her the circle. Good. Bloom, I'm really grateful to you for all you did for us. But what's wrong? You seem worried. Yes, you don't look like somebody who's celebrating a great victory. Unfortunately, we received a terrible prophecy, and I'm afraid that it might concern Dumon. Or maybe one of us. We're quite concerned about Dumon as well, but there's nothing we can do about it. You're right, Ogron. I guess the only thing we can do is wait. Sometimes I feel so confused. And life is such a mystery Take me back where I belong I really wanna know What happened to the world That once was my sweet home Nothing will ever be the same I find the answers to the questions What's wrong? Did something bad happen? Let's see. 
believe we were in grave danger, we defeated some ice monsters and saved the world, so just the usual stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we treat these girls to some refreshing fruit juice? That's a great idea! Bring them on! <laughs> Layla, what are you doing out here all alone? I was just thinking about what happened today and the ethereal fairy's prophecy. I don't want you worrying about things like that on a beautiful night like this. You just got back from a difficult mission, we're together again, what you need to do is enjoy yourself. Naboo, aren't you scared about what could happen? Layla, honey, I don't know what's going to happen, but what I do know is that as long as you're with me, I'm ready for anything. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Hey! Huh? <laughs>